Then the overnight snow caused a dicey drive for some. While the Missouri side, one person died after a semi overturn on I-635 at Horizon Parkway. Both northbound and southbound 635 lanes have been closed for several hours now. It caused a major backup in your standstill traffic for morning drivers. Well, I want to take a live look now. Now road crews are currently, you see they're, they're using a, a crane. They've been using a crane to try and uh, flip over that semi there on that scene. And we do want to check in with Martin Augustine on the Missouri side with a look at what conditions were like during the morning drive. The morning snow, something of an issue for the rush hour and also something of not an issue for the rush hour. Here's what we mean by that. Take a look at this bank back here and you can see all the snow that accumulated in the grass, a couple of inches maybe, but right next to it, this parking lot. Check out the pavement. No snow accumulation here. This has not been plowed. The snow just merely melted as soon as it touched this pavement. That's what was going on on I-70 this morning during the morning rush hour. The snow that started to fall about 4.30 in the morning just wasn't sticking because it was melting as soon as it stopped or as soon as it landed there on that pavement. That's because the pavement had been treated uh, because the pavement itself was warm and the air temperature was barely cold enough to create this snow. Now the snow did fall with enough intensity during the morning rush hour that there was uh, a bit of a visibility issue at times given the intensity of the snowfall, but no big traffic problems to report this morning. Just that unusual side of a snowstorm in late April. Martin Augustine, KBC 9 News. And by the way, we do want to get a sneak peek outside, see what we're dealing with on the roads. Here is a live look at I-35 South in Olathe. You can see that things look pretty good now. Of course, it wasn't the case a couple of hours ago, but you see the clouds there. Roads look pretty dry there in Neville, but we know, of course, we talked about that semi wreck and it uh, wasn't the case earlier. Yeah, so certainly there were some spots uh, to be extra cautious on. But one thing that Martin talked about that worked in our favor were the temperatures and you can see our road surface temperatures here around the metro are all above freezing and that's why our roads were primarily wet. There were maybe a few slushy spots, especially on the bridges and overpasses. Those tend to cool off a little faster, but mainly middle to upper 30s for our road surface temperatures right now. So that is helping us out. Here's how things look on first alert live radar. We are drying out in the metro. You probably have even noticed a little bit of sunshine trying to peek through. Still that back edge of snow near Holden and Warrensburg and Concordia. Harrisonville, maybe some flurries for you, but all of this is making its way off to the east. So we're going to see drier conditions. Again, the exception Butler, Clinton, Sedalia, and Warsaw, Marshall, still some leftover light snow showers in your area. Temperatures, they're all well above freezing. Middle to upper 30s, 37 in Lee Summit, 39 in Kansas City, 37 for Olathe and Liberty. For the afternoon, lower 40s, melting snow. We'll see a little more of that sunshine, a cool northwest wind. Chilly and dry this evening in upper 30s. I'll talk more about how cold we get tonight with that freeze warning coming up. Thanks so much, Neville. Be sure to download our KBC9 app. It is free to download and you get a lot of useful tools at your fingertips. That includes radar, weather alerts, and so much more. Just search KBC in the App Store.